What's up guys, it's Chris Braverman and today I am unboxing and reviewing this Hall of Fame Elite 2-pack featuring Papa Shango and Ultimate Warrior. Now, if you are surprised to be seeing this, then you are as surprised as I am because when I walked into Target yesterday, I wasn't expecting to find this. So this was pretty pleasing to my eyes. There were four of them and uh, as surprised as I was, I was going to buy all four of them because that's how surprised I was. But uh, no, I just ended up getting one. So yeah, like I said, it's Target exclusive because it's the Hall of Fame lineup. And it's Elite Figures featuring Papa Shango and the Ultimate Warrior. So this box includes the hat, necklace, and voodoo staff of Papa Shango there. Which, of course, is the Godfather. And uh, let's take a look at the sign. So Papa Shango's class of 2016, which of course the Godfather is and not Papa Shango. But since WWE likes to do character specific inductions, um, I don't know how that will work, but I guess Papa Shango's a Hall of Famer, right? Based on the character and the person who plays him. But uh, what I saw was Godfather was inducted into the Hall of Fame, not Papa Shango. Anyhow, technicalities, technicalities. So there are Papa Shango and the Warrior, Warrior's class of 2014, and on the back, there's Papa Shango and the Warrior again, and then I suppose this is history on the tomb. The Wild Samoans, Afa and Sika are also a part of the lineup, but I didn't find them unfortunately, because if I did, I would have purchased them. But uh, yeah, pretty beautiful packaging here. It was enough to get me to want to buy four, but I only settled for one for now. So anyhow, let me open it up and review the figures. So here we've got Papa Shango and the Ultimate Warrior out of the packaging. So this must be like my fifth uh, Ultimate Warrior figure. And this is my first action figure for uh, Charles Wright, the man who played the Papa Shango character, who was also the Godfather. Um, I did pass on the Godfather figure. I just wasn't a fan of the figure itself. I was a fan of the Godfather. But the figure itself, it looked pretty bland and, you know, very plain and I didn't want to shell out 20 bucks for it. But Papa Shango, there's a lot of detail to this dude. She's not a plain Jane. So, anyhow, my first uh, impressions are they're pretty cool uh, action figures. They replicate the uh, appearance of each superstar here. Papa Shango looks like Papa Shango of course, and the warrior looks like the warrior there in this uh, attire and this face paint and during this uh, portion of his career. So uh, Papa Shango here, he comes with uh, the necklace, he's got the voodoo, what do they call it? The voodoo staff and he's got the hat. So um, I'm a little bit scared to let my son play with that because I'm not sure if it actually does voodoo but I'm hoping not. I'm sure it doesn't. That's just me being a overbearing uh, parent, I guess. But uh, I'll let my son play, play with it. But you know, that's the first thing that comes to mind. How could they promote like voodoo and stuff? Pretty scary stuff, but yeah, I know. It's Papa Shango, WWE character. He wasn't really uh, someone who practiced voodoo, I hope. But uh, yeah, look, let's take a look at the Papa Shango figure. It's got the white face paint with the red. Uh, paint on the side of his cheeks um, what looks to be teeth painted on his face above his lips and beneath his lips he's got uh, black paint on his nose he's got black outlines around his eyes and then there's his hat his very creepy hat it's black with white and red take it off and he's bald Bold, just like um, Charles Wright was at this time. Um, so while speaking about Charles Wright, um, if there was ever a figure that I'd go crazy for of him, it'd probably be Kama Mustafa, the, the Supreme Fighting Machine. Was he Mustafa at the time or was he just Kama? I don't know, but the Supreme Fighting Machine, you know, the white and red with the mohawk, uh, Hairstyle, that is a figure I'd go crazy for. That was my favorite Charles Wright character, comma, the Supreme Fighting Machine. So anyhow, back to Papa Shango here. This is the necklace, remove it. Uh, this is the voodoo stick, pretty scary stuff. Let's remove it so that way we can just focus on the figure. Okay. 
All right, so he's got black tights with uh, what be, appears to be a voodoo propaganda going on there. It's a snake wrapped around the stick and it's in red. On the other side, it's the same thing. He's got black boots with red laces. Let's do a turn around there, going upwards. On his top, he's got uh, more voodoo propaganda, snake, snakes wrapped around. I guess it's more sticks there, or axes, can't really tell. Looks like a V, and uh, could be an, some sort of an axe or some sort of weapon. Not sure exactly what it is, but it's snakes wrapped around something, and it's in red. Um, let's look at his tattoos. These are all the tattoos that Charles Wright has. So let's focus there. He's got the black wrist tape. Those are his tattoos again on this side and on this side. He's got two full sleeves full of uh, tattoos. And he's got tattoos on his chest and there's the face. Charles Wright's face hidden behind the Papa Shango mask. Uh, face paint, sorry. And like I said, the bald head. And now on to the ultimate. Oh. All right, so this is an attire that we haven't seen uh, an action figure version yet, I don't think. I've never seen it in a, for Jax, or I haven't seen it for Mattel, so this is pretty cool because they make a lot of warrior figures with a lot of different attires. But this one is pretty unique, to me at least. Like I said, I haven't seen it for Jax, I haven't seen it for Mattel, so it's pretty new. And, um, you know, I guess it's purple with, like, light or sea blue. I'm not really sure what shade of blue that is. But uh, his boots are, they're blue. With, it's got red there, which could have been the warrior logo on each side. Uh, his knee pads are purple with, like, a golden uh, warrior logo. It's got a white star. Uh, his, sometimes that happens. So you can't always be perfect. But uh, his wristbands are purple with the gold logo and the white star again. Then he's got these yellow uh, accents on the side there. Same for the other side. Um, his tights are purple with the multicolored warrior logos there. So they are, it looks like orange and green with black and white warrior logos. Um, on the back, it says the ultimate journey. Because I suppose he was on the ultimate journey or he was taking his fans on an ultimate journey. So it's in yellow with the white star. It's pretty cool. His physique is much like the warriors. Pretty built dude. Um, he's got the purple. And the orange, I don't know what these things are called, but whatever they're called, that's what he has there. So purple and orange, whatever's. <laughs> Sorry, uh, not an expert on that. So his face, it's the white with green warrior face paint. And this is the hairstyle that he was using at this time. So I suppose this was in 1992, according to the box. Yeah, I remember this. They had a brief uh, run with each other, but uh, it's pretty memorable stuff. So yeah, it's an excellent warrior figure, excellent Papa Shango figure. He, this one too, I didn't talk about his build, but he has the build of Papa Shango. He wasn't an overly muscular guy, he was just there. Uh, you know, his body was like a normal person's body. He wasn't obese, he wasn't, uh, what's the word, portly. Uh, he was in shape, but you know, not a muscular type guy, but you know, big and menacing figure. He was tall too. So yeah, if you want to compare, is he taller than Warrior? No, I think they're the same size, but Papa Shango was a tall dude. And uh, yeah, they're pretty excellent figures. Like I said, I was surprised to find this two-pack at Target, but uh, it was a very welcoming surprise. And uh, I'm glad to finally have this, glad to own this. And uh, I'm hoping that others are as surprised as I am. And uh, Hope you guys will run out to Target today, tomorrow, next week, or within the week to pick this up because I'm sure this is going to fly off shelves pretty fast. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, again, these are excellent figures, ex excellent figure replicas of the actual superstars, and you should definitely own them. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, please. I will see you next time.